Hi Bestie, welcome or welcome back et bienvenue dans cette nouvelle vidéo. If you're new here, nice to meet you. My name is Amandine. I'm a French model and creative director living in New York. I make weekly content about uh, lifestyle in general, modeling, studying and recently being a creative director. I'm actually finishing my third year of bachelor in art direction and styling and I have this homework that I have to do again because The last time I got 9 over 20, in France they rate us over 20, so I got 9 over 20, which is bad. And the teacher said that my work was superficial and not deep enough or something, so I'm gonna make it over again today with you. So basically, uh, the homework is about a collab between Jacques Mus, a fashion brand, and Marius Fab, which is a soap and body care hair care company and so yeah i have to create um packaging for this collab and kind of merge both worlds so this is my this is my previous homework the way i always start my project it's by making a mind map uh, so I make a mind map, I make research, so over here, here I, I researched a bit on Marius Fab, I researched a bit on Jacquemus while I was making my mind map, I linked some points together, like it, I just dumped every idea I have on paper first before looking, going and looking into inspiration. So this was my, my first step. Since I already did this homework, I had most of the information available. I didn't have like to look, uh, to go again and look. So I have to create packaging for um, body content, body care content. This is what the collab is about. So I checked their, pre their actual packaging from Marius Favre. So I could say it was like really simple, really, really organic and authentic because of the use of craft, uh, the paper, you know. It's like everything is brown, it's really subtle, really muted. The only pop of color is here to represent the fragrance as well as the graphic. We all, there is always a plant graphic that represents the plant of the smell. Uh, same thing with the smell. Smells were all really traditional, authentic and really like basic, I mean, if I could say. like. Lavender, um, chamomile, olive oil, like really simple fragrance. So the goal for this collab is to bring dynamism to Marius Fab and like also bring um, something that is a bit more up to date to make the brand more desirable. So that's that's my goal with this collab. After putting all of this information on paper, I started like putting together a mood board. So first I just went on Pinterest, I will type on my keywords and I will just save everything into a board and just save pictures and pictures and pictures. Then I will go back to my board, I will add more pictures until the point where I was like really ready to put, to put together my first mood board. So, I usually download all the pictures and then I go on Canva. I use Canva every day. Uh, I kind of like saying I'm a Canva pro because I use it a lot. So I'm really good at Canva now. And I have my own template. I don't remember if I made this template uh, because that's the thing with Canva. It's like you go, you grab a template, but then you make it your own. So my mood board template that I always use, I don't remember if I made it myself or if it was a mood board, like a template I found, or if it's a bit of both. I don't remember. But I always use the same template. I always use the same layout, the same foundation, the same like mechanism and stuff. So I download all of my picture. I put everything on Canva and then I started like moving the pictures around to create a mood bar uh, to create like a bar that is cohesive and pleasant to the eye you know I put together my first mood board and then I was really inspired by this specific picture I really like the the graphic first it's like a plant it's a flower which is already similar to what Marius Fabre is currently doing And I like the, the use of color and I like the texture, which I felt was kind of like an upgrade and a more up-to-date version of what they usually do. So I, from this picture, I created a second mood board, one that would be like, the first one was for the vibe and get an idea. And the second one is really for a like creation of the graphic. Uh, so I put the second mood board together. I 
choose a smell I don't know if I was supposed to do that but I kind of since the packaging is based on the fragrance of the product I chose a smell so my collection that I created like the smell is fig <laughs> Um, cause it's like a sweet, it's a sweet smell, it kind of smell like summer, it smells like the sun and which are all of those, uh, elements relatable for both brands being like from the south of France and all those things. And yeah, after that I went on my iPad, I used Procreate, same thing. I always use Procreate every time I have to draw something, every time I have to like, I don't know, put something quickly together, I use Procreate. Um, which is not free. I think I bought it once. I think it's like you buy it and then you have it for life. So really interesting and everybody that do graphic or that draw on the iPad, everybody use Procreate. So yeah, I went on Procreate and I started like sketching on top of uh, the picture of one of the shampoo or body shower. I started sketching, I made the first sketch, then I had it color, I played with design, with layout, with colors, and then I made the final one. And once I was happy with this packaging label, I declined it for a different product. So I want to present um, the brand sell a travel kit with uh, a lot of mini products and then a pouch. So this is like the mock-up I created to to showcase my collection, to showcase all different products and stuff. So I had to decline my graphic design for because like some little details changed. Like there is always the name of the product, I mean the type of the product written on the label. So I had to twitch to tweak all of them. Uh, to have like the body shower, the body lotion, the the soap and all those things. So I made all of these little tweaks and then I made the mock-up. At first I wanted to get a mock-up online but I was trying to finish this homework as, as fast as possible so I ended up like doing it on Procreate, you know. I would just put the label on top and I would add some shadows, I would like tweak the picture a little bit and this is what I did to, cr to, to get my, my final um, mock-up to present for the, to the teacher. Then all that was left to do with for me was to go back on Canva and upload everything and just put together my presentation to submit my homework. So I choose to send um, my first mood board for the general vibe, the second mood board for the graphic, and then I show I sent kind of like um, uh like a sketchbook page type of so the teacher can see my my thought process they can see my first draft and all those things i just think it's like interesting for them to see the process of how i came up with this idea this is kind of what i've learned from my previous uh school experience it's like they always kind of ask for this like notebook study thing type of so yeah I put this and then finally I put the results so I have on the right I have my mock-up with the product and then on the left is more of, once again of like a board with that take again like the graphic that show the colors it's like kind of the final mood board or the final ball of this collab collection between both so I sub this I submitted my homework right away. Usually it takes a minute for them to correct, like to give a correction and stuff. So I wish I could tell you my new grade, but I don't know yet. It's gonna take a minute for me to know. So maybe I'll know, I'll let you know in another video if I keep on doing this type of video. But yeah, I hope you liked it. I, I hope you liked the insights. I, the insights. I'm trying to get uh, as in, detail as much as possible i feel like even if i didn't say something i show everything on the video so let me know if you like this type of content if you'd like to see more i'm really like creating a series of me starting my business as a freelance and kind of figuring everything out so if you're interested you should definitely subscribe and like and comment and i guess i'll see you into the next one bye